Hello everyone and welcome back to Family Bible Time. It's great to have you with us reading the Bible together today. Today, to start us off, I have a question to think about, which is what do you think we need to do to make God love us and be kind to us? What do you think? Have a chat with the people you're watching with. You might have realised that actually that was a trick question because we might think that for God to love us or be kind to us, we need to be really good or really clever. But today, God's going to show us that we can't do anything to deserve his love and kindness. But he gives it to us anyway. All we have to do is ask him. So in our Bible story today, Jacob was on his way home. Do you remember? And the Bible tells us that this is what happened. Jacob stayed behind alone and a man came and wrestled with him until the sun came up. The man saw that he could not defeat Jacob, so he struck Jacob's hip and put it out of joint. Then the man said to Jacob, let me go. The sun is coming up. But Jacob said, I will let you go if you will bless me. The man said to him, what is your name? And he answered, Jacob. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob. Your name will now be Israel because you have wrestled with God and with men and you have won. Then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But the man said, why do you ask my name? Then he blessed Jacob there. God came to Jacob and wrestled with him, which kind of means like having a fight. This might sound very strange to us, but God was teaching Jacob something important. God was teaching Jacob that he couldn't be strong enough on his own. Jacob thought that he was strong and that he was clever, but he couldn't be as strong and clever as God. When they were fighting at the beginning, it looked like Jacob was going to win. But then God just reached out and touched Jacob's hip and it went out of joint, which means basically it broke. If you're watching with someone, why don't you reach out and just gently touch their elbow or their shoulder or their hip and see what happens? OK, I'm guessing that nothing happened there. But when God touched Jacob's hip, it broke because God is so powerful. And when that happened, Jacob realised that he couldn't win because he realised he couldn't be as strong as God or as clever as God. He knew the only thing he could do was hold God tight and ask God to bless him. Why don't you go and get a pillow or a cuddly toy and hold it really tight? That's what Jacob did to God. He held him tight and he said, please bless me. Why don't you hold whatever you're holding really tight? And we'll say together, please bless me. And when Jacob asked God to bless him, he was asking God to show him his love and kindness. Jacob knew he couldn't do anything to make God love him. He couldn't be strong enough or good enough or clever enough. He couldn't do anything to earn God's love and kindness. All he could do was hold him tight and say, please. But when he did that, God did bless him. He did show Jacob his love and kindness. And like Jacob, there's nothing we can do to make God love us and be kind to us. We can't be good enough. We can't be clever enough. We can't be strong enough to deserve God's love and kindness. All we can do 
is hold God tight and say, please. And we don't have to do anything. We just have to hold him tight and say, please. And God sent us Jesus to die for us so we can be friends with God. So God will always love us and show kindness to us. We don't have to do anything to make God love us. We can just hold tight to God and say, please. Isn't that amazing? Let's pray and say thank you to God. Father God, thank you so much that we don't have to do anything to make you love us or be kind to us because we can't be good enough. But thank you that we just have to hold tight to you and ask you. Amen. Now it's time for some questions to talk about with your family. So why don't you answer these questions and have a chat together? What did Jacob do to God? Do we need to do anything to make God love us? What things do we sometimes think we need to do to make God love us? Why don't we need to do those things? <laughs>